Are You Afraid to Die? Good morning, everyone. This is our reflection question for today. Carl was a very rich man who owned a great estate. One of his favorite pastimes was riding horseback through his valley, looking at everything he owned and congratulating himself on his great wealth. One day, as Carl was riding along, he came up over a hill and in the distance saw one of his tenant farmers, an old man named Hans. It was lunchtime and Hans had set a little table under a shade tree and was getting ready to eat. But before he ate, he bowed his head and folded his hands in prayer to thank God for his food. Carl watched the old man as he prayed. Then he looked at his meal. It was only a slight course of bread and a piece of cheese. With a sneer, Carl said, If that's all I had to eat, I wouldn't even bother to pray. Hans replied humbly, It's enough and I'm thankful that God has provided it. Taken aback by the old man's answer, Carl turned his horse and prepared to ride away. But before he could leave, old Hans said, Wait a minute, I need to tell you something. I had a dream last night. In my dream, I saw a beautiful scene and then I heard a voice saying, Tonight, the richest man in the valley will die. Tonight, the richest man in the valley will die. Poppycock, said Carl as he rode off toward home. But as he was riding, the words of old hands haunted him. Tonight, the richest man in the valley will die. Up to then, he felt quite well, but now he was beginning to experience pains in his chest. He wondered, could it possibly be true? Am I going to die tonight? When he reached home, he called his doctor and told him of old Hans' dream and of the pains that he had been feeling. The doctor said, Well, it doesn't sound like anything you ought to be concerned about, but just to put your mind at ease, I'll come over and examine you. So the doctor did. After the examination was over, he said, Carl, you're as strong as a horse. There's no way you're going to die tonight. Carl said, Well, I feel mighty foolish that I paid any attention to the old man's dream about the richest man in the valley dying tonight. But I just wanted to be certain. So, reassured, Carl went to bed. The next morning, there was a knock on his door, and the messenger said, Carl, old Hans died last night. Truly, the richest man in the valley died last night. In today's Gospel reading, Jesus narrates the parable of the head steward who thinks his master will be delayed coming home, takes advantage by abusing his position, beating up his fellow servants while eating, drinking, and getting drunk himself. Jesus tells us that the master will come at an unexpected day and unknown hour and will punish the unfaithful servant. We do not know the hour of our own judgment. Death may come suddenly and may be violently, or it can come slowly and painfully. Many of us pray for a peaceful death, death in our sleep perhaps. We never know which way the wind will blow, for we can only control our own actions in responding to the many uncontrollables in our life. Every day and every hour that passes brings us closer to eternity. We have the option today to live the life or to live for life eternal. We can live now in wanton abandon and careless disregard for the meaningful Or we can perhaps experience death now in sacrifice and prudent care of our soul as we pursue the bliss of heaven. We can strive for holiness and put on love. Indeed, the prospect of death should make us reflect more deeply on the uselessness of the many things we have done and continue to crave for. We may be stacking up on material possessions, desiring recognition and rank, lusting for pleasure and pomp. The nearness and unexpectedness of death should make us understand that relationships are more important than wealth, fame, and power, that forgiveness gives us a piece of the peace that we can have permanently, that sharing generously and cheerfully to the needy without recompense is what our Master desires, that eternal joy is immensely greater than the happiness we are experiencing at sporadic moments in our life. All it takes is to be vigilant and to prepare with the time we have in our hands. May we be like the rich man in today's story, so that when Jesus finally comes knocking at our door, we may receive him with gratefulness and joy. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, 
Keep me always prepared to meet you. May I eventually pass on in peace at my appointed time to claim a piece of your heavenly kingdom. This I pray in Jesus' holy and mighty name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families, brothers and sisters. God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.